Public safety is the key issue in the hotly contested San Jose mayoral race, and the Police Officers Association is turning up the heat even more as hundreds of officers threaten to leave the SJPD if Sam Licardo is elected. More now from Kit Doe, a story you'll see only on KPIX 5. The San Jose Police Union says the morning after Election Day could be the beginning of yet another mass exodus of police officers. But if they wake up and the next mayor is going to be Sam Licardo, that there's going to be 200 cops that, that have a hard discussion with their families and say, I, I can't do this. I can't do eight more years of this. Detective John Mazzaritas and Frank Ovato, both 19-year veterans, say years of pay cuts and 70-hour work weeks have taken their toll and they're ready to quit. It's not fear-mongering. Every officer is going to have to say, is, is this going to be the place for me to work? Votto often works seven days a week and says he's missed out on too many moments with his kids. It's not realistic. It's not stable to have your family here. I'm probably going to leave for the private sector if Sam Licardo gets the mayorship. San Jose has already lost more than 400 officers to layoffs, other departments, and early retirements. The ones left behind work mandatory overtime. Police Union President Jim Unlin warned Mayor Chuck Reed officers would leave following cuts to pay and benefits and pension reform. When I've made a prediction, sadly, I've been dead on. And I know uh, hundreds are going to wake up the following day if it is Licardo as the next mayor. And, and be ready to make a really tough decision. Dave Cortese and Sam Licardo. At a mayoral debate earlier this week, Council Member Licardo says he's focused on raising officers' pay and rebuilding trust. Licardo is one of Mayor Reed's staunchest allies. They're going to respect a mayor who's honest with them. And I'm going to give them uh, what, frankly, Supervisor Cortese wasn't willing to give them when he was on the council, and that is the truth. I'm going to tell them how we can restore morale, how we can restore pay, how we can ensure uh, that we can have a department that's the most innovative in the country, but we're not going to promise them benefits that we can never pay for. The police union has endorsed Cortese. Financial documents show the union's political action committee has spent nearly $51,000 on his campaign so far. One of the things that my candidacy provides to uh, public safety employees here, police officers and firefighters, is a sense of trust, a, a regained hope that there's somebody they can work with in the mayor's office uh, that may not be able to immediately restore anything that they've lost, but can start them back on the path uh, of recovery when it comes to uh, financial incentives. And these are the most current numbers of San Jose police officers who have left this year so far. 57 officers have resigned since January. There are about 100 officers who have either retired or are about to retire. Sam Licardo did say he has great respect for the men and women who wear the badge. He is confident they will not use that badge in a political setting. Thank you. Well, Kit, what is the worst case scenario according to the police? Uh, so according to the police union, if you believe them, they say that if the recruitment of new officers does not keep up with the replacement of the officers who are leaving the department, then in a couple of years we could be looking at a situation where the police department merges with the county sheriffs. Live at San Jose Police Headquarters, Kit Doe, KPIX 5.